Laura, are you coming in? This is Relax Sling. It's a sling that attaches to the playground swings. Is it comfy? Mm -hmm. Ryan Dirk, ready? Is an inventor. No <laughs> game, Daddy. The dad to three girls <laughs> dreamed up his idea after years of wanting to be an engineer. <laughs> but also after years of struggling. When Brian was in high school, his mom was in a car accident. And I wasn't able to, to pay bills. I had to feed and bathe my mom. Um, at the time, my mom had custody of my niece, so I had to take care of her child at the age of 16. Things only got more complicated when he fathered his first daughter, Chloe, at 22 years old. So I ended up um, improvising and I guess trying to find the easy way out. Shortcuts led him to a dark road. I was selling marijuana and then it led to other things. His work caught up with him and he was arrested in Pasco for the sale and possession of oxycodone. When you look at yourself at that time, how would you describe Brian then? Lost, confused, no direction, not the life that I would have chosen <laughs> because I was, I felt like I was educated, you know, I wanted more. But then he was arrested again in Pinellas County. And this time, his punishment came with 18 months in prison. I honestly, uh, I believe it's the best thing that could happen. Like, because it was the end. It was the end of everything. And, because I didn't, I didn't want that. Like, that wasn't the life that I thought that was gonna happen to me, you know? Brian says when he got out of prison, he tried to pay child support, but it didn't work out. And now, that door is shut. And that's what hurts the most because um, there are people that lived a rough life that are willing to change. So he's letting his actions speak for him now. That's been a lifetime goal since the age of nine. I've always wanted to become a helping hands in our community and I'm able to do that now. With Relax Sling. The swing attachment with its high back and harness allows those who are handicapped oh to safely use a swing. That's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> but it can also be used by anyone. I saw the vision, I went home, I sewn the first one out of a bath towel. From humble beginnings. The very first one. Relaxling has grown immensely. It's been sold to customers in all 50 states and 13 different countries. You just don't know that something like this can come about. You know, it just takes, you know, that idea and he had it and he just ran with it. Go on. <laughs> Brian and Nicole work on Relaxling every day after they're done with their full-time jobs. It's worth it because we're able to help families that truly need it. Creating value for his community, families, and his daughters, even the one he doesn't get to see. There's all these different things that you can look at Relaxling. You can say like, here's a guy who's, he's an inventor, he's creating another um, stream of income for himself and his family, he's giving back to the community. But something that you've told me repeatedly is that... It's not even that. My main focus and my main drive is my daughter and that's what keeps me going. And now he's helping many others as well. Brian got the patent for Relax Sling on New Year's Day last year. In 2020, he and Nicole are hoping to move their product into more stores. It's currently sold on their website as well as an online retailer for special needs toys and tools.